If we join the midpoints of uh, any sides, midpoints of the sides of any quadrilateral, we will get a pancreatum. And uh, we can show that concept uh, just like in GeoGebra uh, by moving. This is uh, activated by animating the sides or uh, changing the sides. We can uh, show that the students, the concept is clear. Why this is a pancreatum, we can easily explain by a concept that is uh, uh, taught in ninth standard. So here, uh, here, suppose we are connecting uh, these two vertices. That means this is our diagonal, and uh, there's a theorem that if you connect the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle, that uh, line will be parallel to this one. And the same uh, case, this is parallel to this is parallel to this one. And both of these lines are parallel to the same line. The both these are parallel. And if you consider the other diagonal, we can prove that these are also parallel. This is the directly from the circle, and this is a unit circle. This is a unit circle that shows. Suppose we want to find the value of a, a sine beta. You just keep the scale at sine 60 degree, for instance. If you keep this uh, uh, at 60 degree, we can see that the value of sine theta is uh, 0.866 something. Here, the value of cos theta. This scale shows the value of cos theta, cos 60. This angle is equal to 60 here. And this scale shows the value of cos theta. And this scale shows the value of sine theta because we know sine 60 is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse and it's a unit circle. Therefore, opposite side by 1. This opposite side itself is the value of sine theta and the opposite side by 1. That means uh, this is the uh, length of uh, this length is the value of cos theta. Therefore, directly we can find the value of cos theta and sine theta. Suppose uh, we want to convince the students that uh, this cos 60 is equal to sine 30, you can keep this scale at 30 degree, then we can see that the sine value, sine 30 is equal to, sine 30 is equal to 0.5. Therefore, this is 0.5, sine 30 is 0.5, the same way cos 60, you can see the 60 degree, 60 degree, this cos 60 is equal to 0.5. And sine 0 equal to 0, suppose this angle is de decreasing, and at 0, at 0, this height will decrease to 0. And then the cos theta attains its maximum value 1. Okay, then if we increase the angle, what happens? The sine increases and this cos value decreases to 0. Therefore, sine 90 is equal to 1 and uh, cos uh, 0, cos 90 is equal to 0. Okay, so we can find the height of a, a tree by using this concept. In order to uh, find the value of tan theta, before that, let me explain the value of tan theta. We can find the value of tan theta. Suppose we want to find the uh, tan 45. Tan 45. Keep this uh, at 45 degree angle, and this is one. This is one, and this also is one. Okay. Therefore, tan 45 is one. This scale shows the value of tan theta because opposite side by adjacent side. Adjacent side is a unit circle radius one. Therefore, this itself is tan theta. By using this concept, we can find the height of a tree, which is uh, at a distance of 20 meters. We can fix this device at 20 meters away from a tree. Then that height will be, suppose it is, uh, suppose the, uh, the uh, elevation, just to see the angle of elevation uh, or by looking through this, we can see the top of the tree. Suppose it shows 0.5 or point, uh, point 0.4, for instance, the tree is 20 meter away from this point. Okay, then in order to find the height of the tree, we can multiply that 0.4 by 100 and multiply it by 20 centimeters. The four 8 meters is the height of that tree. Okay, we can find the height of a tree also at the center. If you fix this at the center, uh, like this, what is the angle? What is the angle? This angle formed at this, at this vertex. That's the question. Suppose these are the points. What is the angle made at this vertex? That's a top problem. Here we know the angle between <coughs> consecutive divisions is uh, 30 degree because from here to here it is 90 degree. You know? Therefore, each division is 30 degree, 30 degree, 30 degree. Therefore, this is 30, 30, 30. Therefore, this angle is equal to 90. Therefore, this angle is be half of 90 is equal to 45. We can convince that by using this protractor that this angle is equal to 45 okay then this is the top problem and here is another problem suppose uh, uh, six children and three <coughs> men can do a work <coughs> children can do a work in six days 
men can do a work in three days if they are working concurrently or uh, together how many days are required to complete that work it shows two this is a problem in nine standard mm -hmm. and and uh, and suppose is a pole with height six and if is a pole with height three and if you stretch two uh, uh, threads like this the height of that meeting point of the codes will be two by using the concept uh, this height is equal to a to b six into three divided by uh, six plus three that's eighteen by three that's equal to uh, <coughs> eighteen uh, six into three eighteen divided by that uh, six plus three nine eighteen by nine that's equal to uh, two that's the height of uh, this uh, point so we can uh, uh, explain all the uh, concepts related to circles by using this disk and this nails okay so let, let us leave that so with the uh, device uh, we can we can make this by the same uh, reaper by dismantling or removing this nails and rearranging we can make this a rectangle because this is uh, of length a centimeter and these two sides are of same length uh, 12 centimeter so this is a rectangle so so we have to emphasize the property that these sides are of, of equal and opposite and these are equal and parallel and suppose if you are not insisting the the measure of each angle so it cannot be a rectangle suppose if you are moving like this even though the sides are parallel and equal uh, it is not a rectangle so it is very uh, important to be 90 degree all angles to be 90 degree if you fix one angle 90 degree and uh, all the other angles will be consequently fixed to 90 degree so if you are tilting this and fixing to some other uh, uh, same and they are uh, less than 90 and these are same and greater than 90 and we can explain all the properties later to the length of the sides, parallel property, uh, equality of the and this at all by using this. And if you are uh, moving this point to uh, uh, make the length of the you will get a square at the beginning. When the angle it was 90 degrees, you will get a square by making all this uh, length of the sides equal. So when we tilt that square, we will get a robust. Okay. In a rectangle, if you are tilting a rectangle, we will get a parallel. Yeah? But at the beginning, it was if it was a, uh, a square, when tilting or making this angle, we will get a rhombus. And after that, we can explain all the properties of a rhombus. Two lines like this. We can we can fix these two lines like this. Okay. So these are the diagonals of a parallel because this quadrilateral is a parallel because the diagonals are bisecting each other and uh, we drew this picture in a standard by fixing or changing the angle between these uh, diagonals so if it is 30 degree we will get another one 60 degree we will get another parallelogram if we mix, fix this one at 90 degree what happens this parallelogram becomes a rhombus that means the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors so this is a rhombus and all these sides will be of same length okay so if we want to teach the properties of a kite, we can remove this nail and fix somewhere here and these two sides will be equal and these are not equal to that side. Okay. So we can explain all the properties of the angles, diagonals and sides of a rhombus, parallelogram, kite and all things by using this concept. You are given two sides and an angle of a triangle to construct a triangle. Suppose this is a five, a five unit and this is a, a nine unit and one angle is equal to 30. So three measures are enough to draw a triangle. But you see, if for somebody makes a triangle like this, there is no change. This is 5 cm, this is 9 cm, this is 30 degree. But another person will draw a triangle like this. We are not getting a consistent answer for that question. Therefore, in order to draw a triangle, if you are given two sides, definitely we must be given this angle instead of this angle. That's the importance of included angle in the case of SAS postulate. This is more like that if you are given two sides, definitely the given angle must be in between the given uh, sides. Okay, so this shows that right to get a consistent answer by dismantling and uh, uh, and uh, uh, making according to our uh, desire, we can form any geometrical concept. We can address any geometrical concept by using this uh, reverse and nails and a circle. Okay, thank you. Thank you.